Hello and welcome to this video which is number 8 in a series of short videos detailing the use of Masterframe and Masterframe Pro. In this video, we're going to be looking at the use of the Add Frame options in the Create menu. The Add Frame gives you access to a number of standard preprocessors, allowing you to add predefined structural frames and trusses to your existing structure using one of the standard frame templates. These frame preprocessors reflect the same choice of options that you're presented with when starting up a new structure. In this example, we have deleted an aspect of the structure with the intention of replacing part of the roof structure with a lattice truss. To do this, we will come to the Create menu, then Add Frame, and choose the Lattice Truss Frame Generation preprocessor. This then provides us with a lattice truss at the zero coordinate of the structure. This lattice truss can be changed in its size, for example, an overall span and overall height for the truss. We also have the option of giving it a height to center plus a camber height which we will not include for this example. The frame can be moved into position within origin and orientation, where we can decide to shift the frame using particular coordinates. So for example, if we shift the frame 30 meters in the X direction, we can see the frame move accordingly. One option may be to move the frame remote from the other aspect of the structure and put into the main structure using one of our generic shift commands to move the frame into position. However, we can also easily precisely place the frame in the location that it's required within the structure. As well as shifting the frame in any of the global axes, the frame can also be rotated. For example, we can rotate the frame 45 degrees about the y-axis, using the zero coordinate as our origin point, which we can now see on plan. It's worth noting the order of operations here which has an influence on the final position of the frame being generated, as we have the frame first shifted by 40 meters, and then rotated about the y-axis by 45 degrees from the zero coordinate point. Alternatively, if we swap the order of operations of shift and rotate, we can do the rotation first of all, followed by shifting it 40 meters along the x-axis. We also have the option to resize the structure by scaling it through the x, y, and z directions. We can quickly position the lattice truss into the existing structure with the position between two nodes option. Now we can click on node 1, and select the member endpoint that the lattice truss is to be located at, then followed by node 2. When the two nodes are selected, the truss is automatically positioned between the two points and scaled to the correct span and orientation. And additionally, we have the option to say here that we would like the truss to be aligned at the top or the bottom. Proceed, then generates the frame and accepts the introduction of the truss in the structure. Further trusses can be added in exactly the same way. Or alternatively, we can duplicate the trusses using the copy command within the create menu, which is covered in other parts of this series. In addition to adding frames using a preprocessor, we can also add other frames which have previously been generated, effectively adding two structures together using the importer frame under the same add frame menu item as before. Selecting importer frame allows us to browse to the other master frame files created, letting them to be imported and combined. Here we have a previously generated truss that we would like to bring into position. Through the import function, we can look at the origin and orientation, and in this instance it's more convenient to simply shift this structure independently to manage the import. Clicking on Proceed will then finalize the import and will add it to the structure, and we can then exit out of the import frame function. We can now move this truss into the correct position. Using the Modify Geometry menu, we can go to the Move Members function. The move members function will be covered in greater detail in subsequent parts of this series. We can move members using member ends or whole members. Let's move whole members. Select all the members. And now we can say we would like to move it using pick point to point. And we will pick the start of the truss moving to this top of this column. Preview changes gives us a preview of what we're about to do and proceed activates that change. Now we can exit out of the move members function and see that we have our truss from another frame positioned in place. This concludes this short video on the use of add frame and import a frame in master frame.